How's it going everyone? Today we're going to be figuring out just how tanky we can get in Terraria. Now, I'm not talking about invincibility frames, I'm not talking about regen, I'm talking about just pure defense and damage reduction. And how much damage that we're going to be taking from each enemy. We're basically trying to minimize that number as much as possible. So in order to get our max defense, the most defense possible from our armor set, we need to use the Chlorophyte Mask, which gives us 25 defense. We need to use the Solar Flare Breastplate, which gives us 34, and of course the Leggings, which gives us 20. Now, the reason why we're not using the full Solar set is because we don't care about the set bonus. We just care about defense, and because the set bonus doesn't offer defense, we're going to get the Chlorophyte Mask, even though it's only one defense up, we're still going to be using it. Now, in terms of accessories, there are plenty of ones that will increase your defense naturally. So we're going to take a look at some of the best ones of those. All right, for this next part, we actually need it to be night because we want to be using some accessories that will only increase the defense during night. And we'll get to those in a second. But first up, we have the Flesh Knuckles, which increase our defense by seven. So we'll go ahead and equip those, bring us to 86 defense, which is pretty insane considering we only have <laughs> one accessory equipped. Next up, we have the Celestial Shell, which will give us another 7 defense while it's nighttime. And after that, we have the Paladin Shield, another 6 defense. We have the Moonstone, which is another 4 defense. And then finally, the Ink Shield, which is an additional 4 defense. Bring us to 107. Now, we can get Warding on everything. And because we have 5 accessory slots, that means 20 more defense. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. Now we're going to take a look at buffs. So we're going to use the Pumpkin Pie and the Iron Skin to get an additional... 10 defense well eight and two to be more specific so that brings us to 137 so we're really climbing all right so another buff that will actually increase our defense is the dryad's blessing so while an enemy is near the dryad it'll start up this and while you're in this range you will get eight more defense so now we're at 145 as you can see once she stops our defense goes back down so that's another eight defense we're at 145 now you'd think okay there's no way we're getting past this but there's one more thing we can do, and that is equipping a weapon and guarding with it. Okay, now this weapon is more obscure, so I'll explain how to get it. It's dropped by the ogre during the Old Ones Army event, and if you right-click with it, as you can see, we will block, kind of, and our defense will go up by 20. So, while the Dry's Blessing is active, we are up to 165 defense. Now, as some of you guys may know about something where you take the mechanical minecart and you go on the rails and you gain some defense that way. But you cannot guard while on those rails. So, because we don't actually care about damage, we're just talking about tanking things, we don't need to worry about attacking, which means we can guard the whole time. So, the rail cart, right, the minecart, isn't going to be useful because that only increases our defense by 7, which would be a net loss of 13, right? So... This is the max defense that you can get in Terraria as of now, 165. Okay, we have Moon Lord here. We're going to be testing out the defense build and seeing just how tanky this is. So we're seeing 10 damage from these big eyeballs, one from the lasers. But what I'm really concerned about, or really interested in, is how this is going to do. And that's 66 damage. That is kind of insane. So 66 damage... Now, you're going to see the values, they're going to be changing a bit, because in Terraria there's a range of values that can occur. Um, so after calculations, I think it's like a plus or minus 15% damage. Um, so that's why you're seeing a range of values. Let's see how much this does. I did 55, okay, even less. So we also might be seeing the Dryad's Blessing might be just not an effect. Like right now it's an effect, um, but yeah, once she gets hit, She'll kind of stop, so I have to keep in mind that as well when this big laser hits. So we do have the Dry Blessing up, and 58. So that's, I think that's enough for Moon Lord. We have what we need, we know how much damage we're doing, or how much we're taking. So it seems to be an average of 60 damage. Now, I'm going to put the average damage on screen. And of course, it's going to be plus or minus 15% from whatever value that is. But we have another set to test, and that is the damage reduction set. So we're going to get right into that. So there's a few ways to increase it. We're going to take a look at full damage reduction. How much can we get? Okay, now in terms of what we're switching, it's not a lot. Because we want to, remember, we want to keep as much defense as possible. So all we need to do is change our armor set and our one accessory. 
Again, because we want to keep as much defense as possible, we're going to switch out an accessory that only increases it by 4, which is our lowest. So equipping this frozen turtle shell, which is our accessory that we're swapping out, we're going to swap it out for the moonstone. If we equip this, we're actually down 4 defense. But in exchange for that, we get 25% damage reduction when below 50% health. So again, we're talking about when all conditions are met, how tanky we can get. So this is going to be very, very helpful to us. And of course, we need to switch our armor set because it doesn't offer any damage reduction as is. So we're going to switch to the beetle armor with the scale mail equipped. And now we're at 155 while we guard. So 155 defense, but in exchange for the 10 defense that we just lost we actually get a ton of damage reduction. So this set here gives us plus 45% damage reduction. Now because the beetle shell is multiplicative, you're not simply adding the damage reduction together. You, there's a little more that goes into it. So basically all you need to know is the other values just get, they diminish, they're not as good. And finally to increase our damage reduction even more, we can use an endurance potion, which is an additional 10%. So all of this together, if you do the calculations, it's about 60% damage reduction. So in exchange for 10, 10 defense, we got 60% damage reduction. Now, it's important to keep in mind how many beetles we have active, because basically they are indicators on how much damage reduction we currently have. One beetle is worth 15% damage reduction, and whenever we take a hit, we lose a beetle. So that means if we get hit by the Moon Lord's laser while we don't have any beetles, we're going to be doing... We're going to get hit for significantly more if, than if we had three. So we're going to spawn Moon Lord here and see, and see what's up. Right now, as you can see, we have zero beetles. Or now we got one, but that just disappeared. Uh, so I did 58 damage. I think that's already less than... Uh, or uh, that's equal. That's equal to the defense build, which is looking good because we didn't really have any beetles up. And we're not under 50% health, which is when the turtle shell activates. So I'm just going to let this hit me. I won't, I, I'll just stop guarding. Because uh, we want to get below 50% health, and I also want to get beetles. So I'll try and dodge, but it's going to be next to impossible with our current uh, loadout. Alright, so we didn't get a single beetle there. That did 53 while we're guarding. So now it's doing 53 damage. I'm pretty sure if we have all three beetles active, it's supposed to be doing about, I want to say... I want to say like 30 damage because I have run the calculations before doing this. So this is the clear winner. And again, that did 38. I think we had one beetle there. Because, um, yeah. If we have all three... Actually, no, I think it's doing 20. I swear, it's doing like 25 damage. Okay, that did 28. So that did 28 damage. And I don't even think we are in Dryad's Blessing. So as you can tell, this is really tanky. I think that's all we need. Um, so yeah, now we're going to kick it off into expert mode, see what the changes are, and how they affect these tests. Alright, so we're back. This time we are in expert mode. So basically, everything is going to hit for more damage, and defense basically received a buff. In the calculations, it's using... Defense is just better. That's, <laughs> that's basically all you need to know. So we'll see. We'll see if the defense build is going to be better this time around compared to the damage reduction or if it's still the same. And there's actually one more set I want to try out uh, that's just occurred to me now for some reason, but I'll talk about that in a little bit. Okay, so our loadout does actually change here, of course, because in expert mode you get a new accessory slot. So we're going to be putting on the warding celestial stone. Now this increases our defense by four during night. Well, with warding it'll give us an additional four. So in total we're at eight defense and if we guard we should be at 173 right there. So that is how much defense we have. All right, so we have Moon Lord here. Um, th this is, the eyes are doing one damage. That's doing 63. So it's actually looking pretty good considering everything is doing way more damage. So we're gonna check the eye here. Uh, the death ray, how much damage? 156. That is pretty damn good. So that's actually pretty solid. Um, we're going to be trying out a different, a slight alteration of this build. Alright, so, um, I do want to make one difference to this build, and that is adding the Solar Helmet on. We're losing one defense, but in exchange for that, we actually gain 30% damage reduction from the Solar Blaze. Um, so, we're going to try this out, and we might start mix and matching builds. But, basically, this is an alteration of the max defense build. Now, we're going to try this out, see how good it is. Um, it's going, well, it's 100% going to be better than the defense builds. Now, we got to keep in mind our... I think our shield runs out, yeah. So this is going to be doing 166. 
Um, there's the shield again. It's gone already. <laughs> so, okay. So the solar armor... Here's the deal with the solar armor. Basically, it increases your damage reduction by 30%, but it's only active every so often. That did just 207 damage. Okay, we died. <laughs> so basically, the deal here is it's not going to be quite as good as the beetle armor. Um, so I still do think it's better to run this helmet as opposed to the chlorophyte mask because that only increases your defense by one. And this gives you a, a, a basically a shield in exchange for that one defense you get a shield that does 30 percent damage reduction so it's really good uh we're gonna try moon lord in expert mode but now we're gonna be using the damage reduction build so again we have this extra slot and what i'm gonna do with it is add the worm scarf because it adds of course our damage reduction it boosts it by 17 percent okay we are back in expert mode now uh with our new loadout and Basically, all this has changed is an extra 4 defense to this build, and of course, that Worm Scarf damage reduction. So, we're gonna see how this affects, and if, oh, also, Moolah's doing way more damage, as you can see, that did 165. But, we just need to try and get, a, like, even just a single hit with some beetles while we're under 50% health. Would be just a good representation of how much damage it would be doing. We just need, like, one beetle. Oh, I think I just jumped. Okay, that did 70 damage. That just did 70 damage to us, so that's significantly less. So if we could just try and get as many beetles as we can to work with us here, we might be able to survive the next hit. This should be two beetles. 66 damage with two beetles. That is insane. Okay, we're about to die here. We're definitely not getting three. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the damage calculations on the screen. right On screen right now. I'm going to show how much damage this would do with three beetles. It's going to be really hard to showcase because we have no movement accessories to dodge uh moon lord but i guess i could put a tile over top but i think you guys understand that this this build is really really good so i'll put the number on screen this is how much damage moon lord's laser is going to do to us if we have three beetles and we're in our half health um so it's gonna be insane for expert mode this is if i had to guess it's probably around 50 40 50 damage so Again, really insane from a, a, an attack that does 300 damage. Oh, okay, I hear it. There it is. Yeah, we do survive a hit. Okay, that did like 420 something damage. So, okay, the defense build has a chance. The defense build definitely has a chance. Although, I wonder if we can survive two hits with the other one. We do! We survived two hits! <laughs> That's sick! <laughs> That's actually awesome! Okay, so with this set, you can survive two hits and you'll get killed on the third one from the Dungeon Guardian. So that's kind of insane. That was a lot qu I Okay. Well, so all in all, the d damage reduction is just the name of the game in Terraria. Now this build is the most it offers the most damage reduction possible while also giving you the most defense possible with every other accessory and weapon optimizing defense and of course buffs as well so this is exactly how tanky you can get in terraria so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new and would like to see more types of videos like this we could maybe do one for damage that would be interesting maybe regen although i think that'd be pretty quick I don't know how many ways there are to increase your regen. Uh, be a pretty quick video, but you know, I don't know, maybe. Uh, crit chance is another thing like that. So we'll see. Maybe even immunity frames. That would be interesting. Although I don't think there's much you can do in terms of that in vanilla Terraria, but maybe modded. So we'll see. That is all for today, guys. Um, I guess with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.